I'm on the way to pick up the brats. They went to doggy daycare while we were in Disney. We're home now. Uh, I had to unload all the back, the scooter and all that stuff out of the back seat first to make room for him, but I got towels back there and whatnot to <laughs> keep the mud off. She got about 10 acres of land. Is what she advertises. I haven't seen it, but it's all fenced in and whatnot. Can you imagine the cost of that? Um, traffic's a little heavy today, but I have to keep reminding myself it's nothing like that traffic in Orlando. Ooh, wow. So, I have to put the street into the GPS because it's, it's kind of one of those streets that'll just come up on you and you'll miss it. You don't want to you don't want to uh, miss any streets. I gotta turn that off. We are just creeping today. Yeah, you don't want to miss any streets on, on on US 19. You have to make a whole loop around, and it, it, it just costs you too much time. So. Uh, sorry about the fireworks show, guys. We kind of went home and passed out and never got up. We were tired. Magic Kingdom will wear you out. Above all the other parks, it'll wear you out. You just get super tired because of the crowds, all the stuff going on. Um, it'll just wear you out. So I do apologize for that, but we just didn't get up. It's a lot of crowds, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to take in. So I'm on the way to the doggy daycare to go get Reba and Eddie. Last time I picked them up, they looked at me like, "Oh, you're here." I'm like, "Really? You're not excited to see me?" No, not really. There's so much to do here, Dad. Hey, Adrian. So much to do here, Dad. We got all this land to explore and all these dogs to bark at. You think you could come back in a couple of days? Yeah, that's the look I got the last time. Eddie came out. He kind of shook his head and he's like, oh, okay, I guess we're going home. My two wild children. But... They get very stimulated while they're there, and, and it does them good. The dogs like to see different things and smell different things when they're in the same house or the same surroundings. They can get anxiety. They can get depression. So it's good every once in a while to take them to a, a completely different spot that is totally new to them. And, um, yep, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just leave the camera in the holder, obviously, and I'll go get them. And I'll put them in the back seat. They usually have some pretty amusing faces when they get it, get in there. Eddie's mouth is all wide open. You know, so it's pretty amusing. If we ever get there. Well, they will be happy, but they're not going to want to leave because she's got all that land and all kinds of stuff to look at and um, she's got junk everywhere they can get into <laughs> it's not the not the cleanest place but um, she said last time they they behaved very well they were little angels and I I think she got the wrong dogs Dogs will behave better for uh, strangers. I mean, Margaret always used to say the same thing. Oh, they were perfect little angels. Okay, you sure you got the right dogs? Oh, they listened to her. She, she didn't take no snuff off of them, that's for sure. <laughs> she, you know, she wasn't playing with them. For some reason, Eddie, he won't come in when we say, come on, let's go in the house. He won't come in, but... 
when we do it, but when Margaret did it, yeah, he came in and he knew better. I told her too, I said, In a quarter mile, turn right onto Catherine Street. I said, if they won't come in, just go in there and turn on the sprinklers. And I showed her how to do it. I said, he'll come in then. And, uh, okay. Uh, I think this is my turn up here. Take the next right onto Catherine Street. Yeah. Then you'll arrive at your destination. Then so we're almost there. We're going to go pick up the babies. Big ass potholes. This is ridiculous. This will be enough to send you to the tire shop. Oh my god. Thank you, Shell. We're about to pick up the babies. She's pretty reasonable. She's uh, $30 a day for both of them. Most of them are $30 each. Um, they've got a lot of land here. So, there's no telling what they got into, what they did. But they seem to be pretty happy when they get back in the car, so. She's got standing water everywhere. It's mosquito heaven, so. I've got to make sure that they're on their constant heart guard because that's one good way to get heartworm and everything else. Dropping them off last time wasn't so easy. Nobody was home and they knew we were coming. I was a little annoyed, but today let's hope that they're ready. So let me go get them. God, you should see all this junk. Looks like Sanford and Son. I'm not even kidding, but they're nice people. But Wow. I'll be right back.
No, get back. Heathens. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You guys ready to go home and see Dad? They got a bath. They always get a bath when they come here. Aren't they a hoop? Okay, I know, I know, I know. So she left me a note and said, Reba and Eddie seem to do well here. Had good appetites. Only got one cup today because I thought you were coming before noon. They had playtime this morning while it was cool. Hope to see you soon. Kristen. Well, we wanted to come before noon, but we're an hour late. Okay. Okay, well, you're still wet. Oh, my goodness, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you thought we were going to leave you. Okay, buddies. Okay, there's Reeves. Okay, you got to get down, buddy. Got to get down. Got to get down, buddy. You can't come up here. Okay, well. Their leashes are a hot, tangled mess. <laughs> so that's uh that's the process. Yep, they are wild childs. Look at them just sitting there. <sighs> I gave them wet food this go around uh, to put in there because sometimes they get real picky, you know, and they don't want to eat. Uh, it's not, they're not sick or anything, it's just that, you know, they're spoiled. So we're going to put a little wet food in there to make sure that we motivate them to eat because sometimes they just get into the thing of the process of trying to get through everything in one, one little bit of time. And But you can see they're worn out. <laughs> they were ready to go. He had me sign a petition to raise the minimum wage to $10 an hour. I said, well, I wish you luck. I don't know how successful you'll be, but I wish you luck. You should see this traffic. Hi, Reeve. I root, I know. I eat. I got Oh goodness. Oh goodness, I got puppy kisses. You guys want some more air? Are you too hot? Huh? So that's uh that's that. We're we're planning another trip soon and um hopefully we can get some better phones to do better video. I find the video is kind of blurry. Um, you guys happy? Huh? Yeah? Okay. She always gives them a bath, which I find is nice. It's probably because she's got a lot of muddy land. And, uh, in the babysitting business, you don't give up somebody's dog back to them. Did they get their meat? What do you mean, Adrian? You're buffering? I'm not showing any, any connection issues, but... I know this phone is getting to be out of control. It, tr it truly is. But I'd recommend, what I do sometimes with you, Shell, is I close out the live and I, I restart it. Oh, yeah, they, they get their meat. They, they're not vegetarian dogs by any means. No. And I would imagine this one, right here, this one probably gives all the dogs hell when she's in there. Because she likes to chase them all down and bark at them and kick her back feet out, throwing sand everywhere. 
Yeah, she's a she's a little troublemaker. Don't think she's not. And Eddie, he just follows suit. He just goes, oh, we're barking now? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Which one's the dumb one? Which one's the dumb one? Which one's the dumb one? Are you a dumb dog? Are you a dumb dog? See, you can say anything to him. You can say anything to him. They don't get it. Are you a dumb dog? Are you a dumb dog? Huh? Are you a dumb dog? You're not a dumb dog. No, we're not. No, we're not. Reba's not very patient in the car. She's like, okay, we go, you know, you get a block or so down the street, and she's ready to get out and see what's going on. Huh? Did you guys untangle yourself? Huh? Yeah, I guess you did. Hi, buddy. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, buddy, he is. Hi, buddy. How's Eddie? Say hi to Shell, Eddie. There's Eddie. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, goodness. Hi. Are you excited or something? Huh? You excited or something? You get to go home? You always like to rest your head, huh? Yeah. Oh, bye, buddy. No, no. They need some training on walking, that's for sure. Maybe I'll do that one by one. That's going to be a project. A big one. They uh, have not said anything when they give me the report. Um, the first time I dropped them off, they kind of just took them in the house. I dropped the food off. And I no sooner got in the car and I heard her big mouth. So they must have let them out in the backyard and she went charging after somebody. But they don't, they don't come back with any injuries. So... She said they, they get along well with everybody, and they do. When there's when there's not a fence in the way or a leash, they will. They'd probably get along well with our neighbors' dogs, but, you know, that's one of those things that... Dogs just don't like to be confined to, you know, when they see another dog, they want to go up to it, sniff its rear end, they want to get to know it. And so, these this is a cage-free boarding situation, so they... Um, you know, we don't want to take them to like PetSmart or something where they spend the three days in a cage. That's not what they want. You know, it's not what we do. Um, again, spoiled. But they come back a lot happier and they're, you know, not worn, you know, they're worn out and they'll probably sleep for the rest of the day. Um, they don't go often, so that's good that they don't get used to the place so that it's something new for them when they do go but it's close to the house like six miles it's perfect normally we pick them up on the way home but with all the stuff we had to pick up from Margaret's stuff we had to get rid of it first huh what's the matter buddy are you ready for your tired sleepy bed huh he's tired of sitting in traffic he's like me he doesn't like it Reba doesn't either she thinks we're getting out of the car and going to do something. Uh, well, I'm kind of waiting on a situation to come forward um, to see what I'm going to do about that. They're usually pretty quiet. Um, on the way down, though, Shell, funny little story. I don't know. It's, it's funny to me. But... Eddie was sitting, normally you see them, they're standing, right? So they don't they don't normally sit. Um, but Eddie was sitting down looking out the window. He was um, snarling at one of the little white birds that are around here, the egrets. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was whining, because we were stopped, as, as you saw. <clears throat> and he was just going off. He loves birds. Um, dodo brain over here never saw it or she would have been going hoo, 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 you know but so he when he he sees the the weirdest stuff I mean it's like you're looking around like what are you looking at he will see it through the trees 
he'll see it. You know, behind something, for all I know, he smells it. Um, he just, yeah, he, he spots them. But that's uh, Jack Russell. They're, they're, they've got that hunting instinct. Well, and Pitt, but um, they're always, always looking for something to bark at. I was a little nervous when I first took them over because I'm like, well, I mean, it's not like they haven't seen dogs, but they don't have a lot of exposure. They've never been to a dog park. Um, I find dog park owners uh, to be irresponsible. I mean, to a certain degree, yes, you want to let your dogs mingle with them, other dogs and whatnot. But, Number one, you should know the temperament of your dog before you bring him into any kind of situation where there's other dogs. Um, so dog parks, doggy daycare, things like that, you know. Uh, first and foremost, I've always had a rule that if you can find somebody to come to your house and watch them, they're going to be happier in their own surroundings. But, as I stated earlier, there are situations where you want to get them stimulated with other smells and things to check out so that they stay happy dogs. Those are not sad dogs by any means. Um, I, I see her in the rear view mirror looking at me like, where are we going? Um, but you have to know the temperament of your animal before you just open the door and send them loose into a dog park. We had a dog once that was extremely not violent, but cautious toward other people. And when he met people he didn't know, he he was quite vicious um, in a sense that he would bark and go off, um, kind of like they did with my sister and her husband. Um, they didn't know them, so it's it's a different strategy. So it's important that when you when you have dogs, you are looking researching, studying their behavior, what different things mean, what when their ears are back, forward, tails up. Uh, did you know that if the dog's tail is predominantly wagging to the right, they're excited, but if it's predominantly wagging to the left, they're nervous or anxious or scared. Um, also, if they're sitting lower to the ground, they're nervous about something. This body language, for instance, is happy. Ears are open wide. She just gave me a look. She's panting. She's standing upright. Um, her tail usually sits down, but uh, so I'm guessing that she's had a life somewhere where she was beaten. Um, because they will, the dogs who were chronically beaten will usually keep their tail down. Eddie's is always up, but he was three months old. He had a hard, hard start to life, but. I don't know if he was traumatized long enough to keep his tail down um, like she does, but sometimes they just want to relax it. I mean, it, it, it does take muscle power to keep that, th that sucker up there. So there's no telling. Um, I, just, I, I just don't understand why people don't take the time to research what you need to look for so that when you're bringing them into a situation like a dog park or a, a daycare facility or something like that that you can be watchful and kind of know what's going on before something gets out of control that's all I'm saying sometimes you can't predict it but I don't know everything about dogs obviously I'm not a veterinarian but I can generally tell when something's gonna kick off or if it's just a, a show of you know showmanship really uh, when these two, when these two and our neighbor's dogs meet, it's a, a constant pace up and down the fence where they're barking and snarling at each other because there's a fence in the way. Now her dogs are aggressive, but not mean. I mean, they're just, they're protecting their own stuff. And that's what these two are doing. So, and there's a fence in the way. And dogs don't understand zoning maps, so they don't understand that you know, Abby and Tank are on their property. They don't understand that. They see a dog close. I mean, Reba and Eddie think they own the entire neighborhood. Well, at least all that they can see. So do Abby and Tank. So when they meet, they're like, uh, no, get out, go away. 
but if they were to all establish who was in charge and who, you know, the line of totem pole, I, I should say, that, you know, then things wouldn't be so bad. The dog next to us on the other side, they're fine. They, they see him. He's just a little puppy. When they see him, they bark for about 15 seconds, and they're good. The ones behind us, same thing. But when she first saw them, she went right on over there, and she let them know, you know. <laughs> but they've had a chance to meet, and they're fine, and everything's good. But the two on the left side of the house, I don't know if that will ever actually happen, but it could. Um, Tank's an asshole, that's the bottom line. His parents even said the same thing. He's an asshole. Um, <laughs> he's an older dog. He's more pit than they are. And, you know, he's very protective. But I don't see any... When I see the interaction that goes on with the four of them, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I don't see something that would make me grab them and protect them. And I don't see that. They freak out because, you know, there's a lot of barking and rah, 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 you know, and trying to snap through the fence. And I see that as working it out. That's all I see. So, if it wasn't for the, the continual noise that would go on, I would just let them work it out. But you don't want the neighbors getting upset going, oh, wow, you know, that's a lot of noise. And, you don't know who's trying to sleep, who works nights, who works days. You don't know anything like that. So it's best to um, try to be courteous to your neighbors. He's sitting again. He sees something. He's... Oh, shit. I can put that back. There he is right there. He's sitting down and he never sits. He never sits. But he's just, he's staring. He sees something. I don't see anything. I'm telling you. He's going to probably start whining in a minute. What do you see, buddy? What do you see, buddy? I have no idea. His ears are relaxed, so he's, he's studying something. But... I have not a faint, no idea. These two are probably going to start getting really excited when we get home. Start getting home. They know where they live. <coughs> Just like they know when we're going down there. They've only been there once. This is their second time. But they know. I hope Dad's ready, because he's going to get mauled. I hope he's sitting down, he's secured, he's chained down, because they're, you know, they're going to see him, and that's going to be all she wrote. Then they're probably going to want to go out, or eat, or whatever, you know. It's They're just like kids, you know. There's never any, um... No, they're very good in the car, and I think Eddie, Eddie taught um, her, I guess, because, well, what's funny is when we first got her, Eddie, of course, wasn't with us. So, we filled out the papers, we paid the 25 bucks, we, we took her home, and she got in the floorboard, and there she stayed. And I thought, okay, she's going to be a good car dog, but look at this. <laughs> but when we uh, we took them, the two of them in the same car, there was never any fighting or any uh, jumping around or misbehavior. Sometimes if it's a longer ride, Eddie will try to come up to the front because um, you know he wants to cuddle and snuggle and all that. That's what the head head resting means. Um, but they 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 got the idea of the car pretty quick, where. Um, they just kind of hang out. Like I said, Reba doesn't usually sit. Now, she will, if it's a longer ride, she will lay down. Um, but she just kind of wants to, uh, 
see what's going on. Um, he's not sitting. You see he's just resting his head on the seat. He's just kind of looking. That's adorable. Um, I think he knows where we're going. So he's waiting. Um, Reba's Chris's dog, if you, if you will. Um, they, uh, Eddie likes to sleep with me at night and, and Reba sleeps with, uh, Chris, but now she's going over here. Her tail's, you know, she's starting to pant a little heavier. She knows, you know, what's going on. What's the matter, Eddie? She said, sorry I missed you. I had to walk a dog. They were sweet. So, you know, I still think she's got the wrong wrong dogs, but maybe not. He's, I just heard a whine. I think he knows. What's the matter? Where's your buddy? Where's your daddy? Where's daddy? Where'd he go? All my buddies. Yeah, he's softly whining so he knows we're getting home yeah, they're, they're very good in the car uh, it was a 15 minute ride or whatever so you know it's like oh, no you gotta stay there buddy he says I know we're home I know my dad is here He's here somewhere for me. Yeah. I'm gonna flip the camera. I may set it down, but because so I have to manhandle them one by one. But we're gonna get them inside. And I hope he's sitting down for this because it's gonna be funny. Uh huh. Okay. Let me, nope. Stay here. Stay here. No, sit, sit, stay here. Sit. I gotta get all my stuff put away. So hold on, you're gonna look at the sun for a minute. No. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Hey, you want to go in the air? Come on, over here. Come on. Come on, let's go see. Come on. He got off his leash. Hey. Eddie. He's got lost. He got loose. Come on. Over here now. Come on, buddy. Let's go see Dad. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Come on buddy. Eddie. Eddie!